what we're seeing here on my screen is a task assigned to us for a particular document. On the left hand side, we're actually prompted with attributes. Attributes are our way of utilizing information or filtering information specifically for reporting on all of our contracts. Attributes are incredibly important, especially for you know, reporting after the fact, um, for getting accurate information. We, in general, really want to make sure that our attributes are accurate. DocuSign has integrated AI functionality to help us ensure that these attributes are indeed accurate. And so attributes are typically updated by users uh, throughout the process or that life cycle of a contract. And with anything that users do, there's always the possibility of human error. AI makes this process much easier for whoever may be reviewing all this information. We typically recommend that this information and all of these attributes are reviewed at the end of the process, just one last time to make sure that all the information is accurate. And our first one that we're seeing here is our document type. A user may have decided that this is a addendum. You can see that actually AI has made the suggestion that this is a non-disclosure agreement. And you can see where it's actually picked up that information by clicking on our eyeball right here. And it will highlight the data that it has picked up in order to tell you that this is a non-disclosure agreement. And we can actually accept this information as well by clicking accept and then DocuSign will auto populate that suggestion into the attribute for us so that we don't have to, you know, look at our full list and scroll all the way through our full list of document types. Uh, we can just hit accept and it auto populates, makes our job much easier. And we can even undo if we decide that we do not want to take that suggestion. Uh, if I keep scrolling down a little bit, we can see that maybe somebody suggested that this uh, party that we are negotiating with is the Krusty Krab. But AI has picked up that we are actually negotiating with Euroflash. So we can again highlight that information and see where it's picked that up. But you can see that DocuSign is giving us a notification that we cannot accept this value because it doesn't exist in your account. So. This attribute in particular um, does not have a dropdown option for Neuroflash. We don't have a party in our system labeled Neuroflash Inc. So we cannot auto populate that value and therefore we do not have an accept option here anymore. So we may have to contact our admins, see what's going on there. It just prevents us from being able to auto populate something that should not be there. And this works for other attribute types as well for dates or numbers, right? If it's picking up a string instead of a number or some text instead of a number or an incorrect date format, it will give us the uh, same or a very similar message here that it cannot accept that information because it's not formatted in the correct way. So if we keep scrolling down, we can see here it's also picked up a effective date here. And it may have uh, looked like it picked up the incorrect kind of formatting, but we can still hit accept and it will automatically convert that formatting into what we need for the attribute. And then for our expiration date, uh, we do not have one in our contract. And so therefore uh, it does not have a suggestion for us and we'll say no suggestion found. So ultimately there is a variety of things that can be done with AI to help make sure that our attributes are accurate for reporting. And if you have any questions, please be sure to reach out.